Hello YouTube, this is Nick, or Nagel Plays, and this is Minecraft Faction Survival Guide on MC Central. To start out with, I'd like to explain my goal with this Let's Play. Overall, I'm looking to play this Minecraft Factions reset on MC Central from start to finish, and I'd like to go over all the different phases of factions. So essentially, I'm going to start out with making money and then getting spawners, building a base, all that stuff. But I want to explain to the viewers how I typically do it in order so in order to educate the less experienced faction players. Now, factions has changed a lot since I've started playing. I started playing back in beta 1.2 and we're at release 1.15 at this point. So there's been a lot of changes to factions since I've started playing. So I've kind of been around the block and know a couple things I'll say. Now I don't know everything. So if anybody has any suggestions of what they would like to see, feel free to leave it in the comments below. But to start out with, I'd like to talk about starting a sugarcane farm. Now most servers, cane is the way to go. But you want to check the slash shop on the server that you're playing to figure out which crop is going to give you the best money for your time spent. Now, with MC Central, no doubt it's sugarcane. So we're gonna start there. So I normally start out with a flat area like this wastelands warp, um, but you can use any area at all. And you can even build this in the air if you want to. Um, just keep in mind, speed is the most important thing if you're building a sugarcane for the first time. If you've built it before, you know what it's all about. Now, I always build as you know, and as big as possible and as ma many layers as possible. Um, I use the dirt gem buckets to do it quickly if gem buckets are available. If not, you gotta place it all by hand or with schematica, which I'll show you guys at a later point. And then I use the ice to get the water down quickly. And then after that, I plant the cane as quick as possible. Now, it's worth it using your starting balance for this because you're gonna make so much more money with the cane once it starts growing. Now, I don't even start with the walls until I need them, um, but you want to make sure you get the walls down before you get a harvest toe or anything important like that. Now, I'm going to show you my actual F home, which I made the cane farm already, uh, with Johnny Mac Plays, my partner on the server, and uh, my buddy Shane also assisted me on this. Now, it's best if you have a full faction working on this because you can knock it out super quick. But let's see my cane farm. I'll show you. Alrighty, so this here is the F home. It ain't too fancy. Uh, but I figured just give ourselves a little box so we can, you know, spawn safely. So here's our first layer of cane. Uh, so as you can see, I made it huge. Uh, it's like five by seven chunks. And it's for the most point all planted. Um, now I got this down quick, that's why it's not pretty, and it's also not secure, because as you can see, right here's the wasteland floor, right here's cobblestone, someone can blow through this very easily. So what I did was I put this cobblestone here, so if somebody gets in here, they can't necessarily get up into our main space. So without further ado, let me show you our main sugarcane farm. So it's pretty massive so far for like one day progress uh, it's also not planted but I'm just trying to get to a point where you can see it all so here's the structure of the thing so we have the rows all down here all this was placed with gem buckets and then we got which this is the most important part I think to doing it efficiently is uh, doing a top layer first so you can get all the water down for the floors below. And then from there, you just kind of fill in the space. Um, so yeah, we have a decent bit done. A lot of it's just water, but a lot of it's planted, I'll show you. So like, tons of floors. So our goal with this is just to be able to infinitely keep on harvesting cane and selling it because it sells for like 50K a pop, which that can get you a lot. So you can see we have a decent bit of space here. We're doing good so far. 
And just to show the power of a sugarcane farm, it's a full inventory. Uh, it takes minutes to get this. Not doesn't take long at all. And then we'll do slash sell all. So yeah, 63K for one inventory full, which is nothing when you have infinite layers of it. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Alrighty, so now that I went over um, the basics of, you know, how to build a cane farm that'll make you a lot of money, I just want to show some clips that I recorded earlier with Johnny Mac Plays. We, uh, we noticed we got breached in our cane farm, nothing crazy, but then we also opened up some keys. So without further ado, here are those clips. I know I got like 10 more dollars left in my credit card that, uh, you know, I could buy some crates with, you know, they were only like $2 each. I think we should buy some. I don't know. I mean, I just got paid Monday, so. You're working, so why not? We're playing Minecraft. You might as well do it right. How about we both buy at least like one ancient key? 250 you cool 250 with that? what? $250, obviously. Now, $2.50. You cool with that? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Right. I'll, I'll do it. Alright, lit. What can we get, yo? So I think we can get mythical. Mythical. Some hoppers, some money pouches, some throwable creeper eggs, and regular mystery spawners. So, yeah. Myth what's the mythical armor? Doesn't so, really tell you anything. That's actually a good question, but that's like basically like the best in chance you can get. But here's the thing, like my goal with these keys is to get a harvest dough. But if we get any of the other stuff, we can sell it to get a harvest dough. So it's that's a win win. True. We can get two keys. See, that's what I really want. All right, I'm going to buy these fuckers. Let's see. All right, I'll buy one. Oh, I, I just brought my. So, I just brought my so key. Dad, why couldn't you fucking record yesterday? Dude, Give me, I told you, dude. Oh, why? Tell me the reason. Does it sound like a whip? Like whoosh, girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Well, yeah. Kate, dude. No. He, he has no room. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yo, it says I have no keys. Yeah. You got no balls either. Dude, I can. You better record next time. Dude. I just need dedication for this let's play. Like our viewers need it too. All right, let's open okay. these keys. You Whatever. ready? Yeah, I don't have my key. It says I don't have any. You want to see me open mine? She probably hate you. <laughs> Whoa, yes, yeah, something real shitty. I'm glad. I'm gonna well, sell this though. I don't have. Oh, there it is. I just got my All key. Right. Hopefully, you get some harvest toes. Fingers crossed. Right. Let's see what I get, dude. My mythic key makes me want to drink. And I got boots. Fun, fun. Pretty nice boots, actually. Holy sh... You want to buy another one? Holy cheese, dude. Want to buy one more? One more. Cool. And that's it. That's it. What'd you get? Fuck. Oh, a helmet. That's bullshit. I just want to hop him. <laughs> I just want to harvest hell. God. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, All right, get a harvest hell. What I get? Boots, again. I told you. Fuck. Alrighty, so we already got breached on our cane farm, Johnny. But it's alright. Small breach. And that's exactly why I built this ceiling here. Up here, you see this? Because I knew this was going to get breached. Uh, especially with it being right on ground level and having no water on it. So I don't know about you, but I would like to make this as secure as possible today. So why don't we cover this thing with some water? Sounds good. You like it? Alright, let's patch this good. up real quick, too before anybody can kill us. And then I'm gonna buy a harvest toe right after this, I think. All right, so I'm gonna teach you guys on YouTube how to place your ice on top of your buildings to make it real nice and easy. So I'm just gonna buy a couple stacks of this because we'll probably use a bunch of it. But so you basically just have to run diagonally like this. 
put it all down diagonal. Yeah, put it down diagonal, and then I'll just show you real quick. When you break it, it turns it all into source blocks. Yeah, I know. We've done this before. Oh, yeah, but I'm showing you YouTube because this is the Faction Survival Guide. You know what I'm So for our day one on the server, I think we did pretty good. Uh, so just want to recap, essentially, we got our cane farm made, and we've got the harvest hoe purchased, and my money is doing pretty good, which, let me see if I can show it. So yeah, we, we're essentially stacking at basically a million in the faction. Um, so yeah, we're doing good. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, it's about 4 a.m. I started recording earlier today at like 6, 6 o'clock or so, and I am tired. But I definitely wanted to get this video made and out to YouTube because, you know, it's a lot of fun. Uh, so I hope, you know, the community likes the video. Uh, if there's anything that I could do better, please do make sure to put that in the comments. It's the first time editing a video in a long while. Uh, so I hope I didn't mess anything up. I hope you guys enjoyed again, and make sure to check out Johnny Mac Plays on YouTube. He's the partner that I'm playing with. Uh, I've known him forever, so he's my real life friend. So definitely make sure to subscribe to his channel. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe because there's going to be videos posted hopefully a couple times a week. I'm hoping you guys can rely on you know a Friday release a Monday release, and a Wednesday release. And I said it in that order because it's Thursday. And I'll be posting this tomorrow. Again, if there's anything I can do, let me know. I hope you guys all have a, a great day. And stay safe from the corona. Peace out, guys.